What is good, my excellent explorers, my compadres of curiosity. Today I'm at the mouth of Spanish Fork Canyon. Gonna ride some sweet uh, Red Knolls DH, that's what it's called. A brand new trail here in Spanish Fork. Uh, it's, a, it's a diamond, a black diamond trail, and it's super fun. And I'm also gonna be talking about uh, how Spanish Fork got its name. So you can see here that giant cross on the hill. It's because of the Bing Dominguez and Escalante expedition of 1776, the first uh, Spanish explorers that come through here. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's get into it. You call this archaeology? So this is the climb up to Red Knolls. You can have the view of Spanish Fork. Oh, guys, this climb is gnarly. Just back and forth the whole way. A few moments later. All right, we just made it up that horrendous climb to the top of Red Knolls. That wasn't so bad. Only wanted to puke like three times. Wasn't bad. Woo! All right. We're at the top of Red Knoll Run. Brand new trail here in Spanish Fork. Um, right at the mouth of the canyon, you can see the windmills over there. And then the cross of Domingos and Escalante at the top there where they camped. Let's ride, man. Wait, I'm warmed up. Kinda, not really. super cool trail out of the way you saw some raw POV footage it was super fun uh, I'm gonna be talking about the history of this area all right I'm gonna be talking about the Dominguez and Escalante expedition and you're probably wondering why should I even care about this what's so cool about this expedition well I'm gonna freaking tell you all right the Dominguez and Escalante expedition was so cool because they're the first European explorers to enter into a lot of the southwest and the Utah Valley and uh, they were just two Spanish friars uh, Dominguez and Escalante, the purpose of their expedition was to find an overland route to Monterey, California, the Spanish missions there. They knew there was a route through the Grand Canyon, however there were some uh, indigenous tribes there that gave them a lot of hard time. 
which was very justified. <laughs> so in July of 1776, Dominguez and Escalante and 10 others, including seven Native American guides, left Santa Fe and then went up through uh, Southern, Cal Southern Colorado and then into the Colorado Plateau and into uh, Diamond Fork Canyon and Spanish Fork Canyon. And this is of course why Spanish Fork got its name. I mean, they were the first Spanish to come into Utah Valley right there at the fork of that canyon. Uh, they get to the valley and they look out at this beautiful valley. I mean, lakes, rivers, wooded areas, beautiful. And they see uh, villages all along the lake and they see pillars of smoke. So the Native Americans are signaling each other, telling them that there are hostile people coming. And so Sylvester, the Native American uh, guide, tells them, all right, we're gonna sit tight, we're gonna signal them and let them know we are friendly and we're gonna wear all this stuff. And sure enough, because of him, they are received by the local tribes. Uh, peacefully, they're able to trade, talk, and, and be able to communicate and tell them what the point of their mission is. And we know all this because I'm not just spitting just mad lies right now. The way we know this is Escalante's journal. And he kept a detailed journal about the Native Americans, about plants, about wildlife, about uh, future settlement. So he noted that the people here were really chill, uh, really peaceful, they had long beards, which is really interesting. And we still use this journal to this day as archaeologists. I mean, this is the earliest, this is the earliest account that we have of Native Americans in this region. And super cool. So after they got all their supplies and gathered here for a couple days, they headed southwest into Payson and then Scipio. And then this was in October that they were heading down that way and realized winter was coming and they had to turn around. So they never actually made it to California. However, it was a big deal because they were the first um, European ex explorers to go into this area. And their detailed journals and maps kind of paved the way for uh, later white settlers and Spanish explorers. And today there are a lot of monuments that have been erected that uh, show and describe this expedition. There's some in Spanish Fork Canyon, there's some behind the Spanish Fork Library. Pretty much there are markers wherever Dominguez and Escalante came through. As you can see here, this one is at the mouth of Spanish Fork Canyon, but it showcases what actually happened. In and there are also monuments in the Spanish Fork Library, this beautiful statue uh, done here, as you can see, um, that show a Dominguez and Escalante a lot bigger than their Native American counterpart, which is pretty interesting. And in 1981, they actually erected a giant cross on top of the mound where they could have camped, uh, where there's actually hiking trails that you can go up. I highly recommend you guys see it. It's a beautiful canyon. It's a beautiful area to bike and to hike in, so you guys should go check it out. All right, guys, we made it down. We had a blast, just a backcountry mountain biking, uh, but explored some sweet trails, explored some sweet history. I also forgotten forgotten history about the some of the first explorers who came through this region that a lot of people don't know about. So please like and subscribe. Um, share your content, comment if you have any recommendations for my next videos. But until next time, let's dig up some history and some places to ride. See ya.